By the way, when you say the action design process of Hong Kong, Jackie, Yun Kuei, and Samo, they all have their own process. That's right. So what did, what did you pull from that? You know, I'll be honest, in hindsight, one of the things that I think that we've we've seen farther is we prepare way before. Like, they'll just choreograph on the spot. And that's not the standard anymore. We started pre-vising, -vi pre pre-visualization, shooting pre -vis. My first experience with an elaborate pre -vis was on the movie The Rundown with Dwayne Johnson, working with Andy Chang, who's a dear friend of mine. And he was Jackie Chan's double, Hong Kong Taekwondo guy, Texas Taekwondo guy, of course, we're brothers, love him. And um, the, the pre -vis was so elaborate on that show with all the wire work, because we shot everything and they shot the movie exactly how we shot it. Previous might even be a little bit better. And sometimes that's a standard, but that's one of the things that I've learned to see farther. I mean, I learned, you know, in 97, 98, 99, there was a huge wave that came to America after Matrix, after, you know, like you, Wu Ping came with his crew. We also, I think, have gotten the wire work at this point way better, but they gave us this knowledge, you know, they, and they, they weren't, they weren't always cool about it. You know, they were really hard on us. And when, we, when they first came to L.A., I remember that Chad, myself, Clay, Brad Martin, there was only a few of us that would always work with them. They would always hire us all the time, like on the on the Sammo Hung TV series, Martial Law. There was rotating list of directors that would blow your mind. You know, you had all these hitters over there, but they were very picky and they were hard on the old uh, on the other older American stunt guys or the old school cowboys. They weren't cool to them. And I was like, hey, dude. Be cool. We're get, you guys are guests here. When I was in Hong Kong, I was cool, right? I said, please and thank you. But it's different. You know, that's culturally they were, you know, they, there was a lot of swagger that came with them. Mm. And I guess that's cool. But I feel like maybe that was one of the things that didn't serve them well in the end. Because anytime you bring something to us, we're going to take it and we're going to see how can we, what's pressure tested. How can we make it better? Because we work in this studio system. It's all nuts and bolts, like the Hollywood way of making movies. I don't know if you've worked in India or you've worked in China or the Philippines or, or Europe. It's entirely different. Like we, working in Hong Kong, I will show up and they will give me my lines like that morning. You're saying this and you're going to be dubbed, you know, you're going to be dubbed in 50 languages. So just say it and don't suck, you know. But in America, it's, 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 it's run by accountants, you know, so it's got to be everything has to be textbook. So. In doing that, in saying that, we have mastered the 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 wire. We master is a big word. We have re reinvented wire work in the West, and I'm not just going to say America. I'm going to say all over Europe, and and Australia. Some of the best uh, riggers in the world in South Africa that I've worked in. I've worked with amazing Canada, amazing riggers. It's gone to the next level, but it's because of the wave that came from that era of the Wu Pings and the Corey Yuns and the Jackie Chans. Wu Ping was more the flying. You know, and now that we have winches and winch systems, et cetera, and also prepare preparation and safety is where we've gone farther.